It can get quite a bit difficult answering questions about overspray and removing overspray from automotive finishes. As you can see and hear, this automotive finish has overspray and it could really be anything. You'll want to try chemically removing it first. There's mechanically and chemically removing the overspray. Rapid remover, amongst many others, goof off and thinner and acetone, can be very effective depending on what it is. Another way you can address the situation is using a clay bar or a clay mitt or the auto scrub system from NanoSkin. And there are many different types of clay. Uh, there is mild abrasive, medium, and a harsh abrasive clay bar. And you can go about tackling the overspray with a clay bar. One thing you need to keep in mind if you're going to use a clay bar, you are guaranteed to need to follow up with a polish as it is abrasive. And I'll show you here. Abrasive yet effective. So we moved on from chemical to mechanical decontamination of the overspray. Yet another option is polish. You could use anything from a mild polish, a finishing polish, to a compound depending on what the overspray is and how bad it is. Overspray can be anything from if you park too close to exit uh, vent from auto body. Um, to epoxy if you parked close to yet another uh, exhaust or exit vent from uh, refinishing of appliances. They use epoxy and there are just so many different types of overspray uh, that it really does get hard to answer the question, how can I remove it? One thing I do want you to be mindful of if the overspray is really hard to remove using a compound or a polish, don't repeat yourself and hover over one area for a long period of time. You'll raise temperatures and you'll spike temperatures in one area. Now, polishing and compounding can be effective, but here's another way that could be even safer. Wet sanding, and there are many versions, Trizac discs to sheets, um, to the roofs, um, cutting discs, there are many options out there when it comes to wet sanding, and it's a way to remove the overspray gently without raising or spiking temperatures on the surface. Here, I'm just going to use 3000 grit, and depending on what the overspray is, is what you're going to match up the sand sheet or the Trizac disc up with. And here I want to show you I am mechanically removing the overspray without spiking temperatures in one area. Uh, they fluctuate maybe a tenth of a degree, but that's about it. I'll wet sand with that 3000 grit until it feels smooth to the touch or I see a little bit of a white milky substance. That's a little bit of clear coat that can be coming up with the overspray. I'll stop, remove the residue, make sure it's nice and smooth and just polish out from there. And guys, from 3000 grit on up, all it takes is a fine polish to bring out that clarity and excellent gloss and shine. You can see already, even without polishing, the overspray has been removed and you can see a little bit of uh, clarity coming back before we even polish. So from here, depending on the clear coat, uh, depending on if it's soft or hard, that's going to be, uh, that'll determine the choice of pad and the polish you use to finish it out. But here I'll just use a DA with a Eurofiber 5050 pad and a finishing polish.
And that's all there is to it. Short video today. Those are uh, some of your options. I would start chemically removing the overspray first. You'd be surprised how much rapid remover can uh, remove when it comes to different types of overspray on all of the surfaces on your vehicle, including headlights, taillights, plastic trim, chrome trim, and painted surfaces. If that doesn't work, then mechanically try to remove it. Just be mindful and careful of the materials you're working on. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.